All right, everybody, good morning and welcome to the beautiful Kokkud Island here in sunny northeastern Thailand. Before we kick off the day, I'm just going to give you a little guest house tour because it's super nice here. Now we're paying 600 baht a night, which is a really good price. We've got a double room around the corner. This is the name of the homestay, Lung Chloe Homestay, Kokkud. Hiring a motorbike for 200 baht a day, which is a really good price. And yeah, let's just give you a little tour. So we've got coconuts here, which the owner, they're not here right now. This is run by a lovely young Thai couple, Q and Jam. He cut some coconuts essentially off that coconut tree there. And every day we have like two or three of these, he cuts them open. So delicious, there's so much flesh in them. We've got a kitchen, which we haven't been using because we've been eating out. Fridge. Drinking water, very important because it's so hot. Toast, snacks, hot water, tea, coffee, everything you need. Fans, this beautiful place to sit, look at this. It's got a hammock. So nice to just chill out here because you get a proper like windy breeze in the evening, like a sea breeze. There's this chair, that's also super comfy. Place to eat, it's so nice. Got some bread actually, I'll show you. There's all the fish here. If we can get them. Hey up! <laughs> now this, this water here connects with the ocean. So we get some interesting fish down here, some ocean fish. But there's loads of them. They'll be in a feeding frenzy now. I don't know if you can see on camera. And yeah, but just look at how beautiful this place is. Like it's so chill out. There's huge palm trees. They are huge. The sun's beaming, it's such a nice day today right over the water wow i love it here yeah they usually have a super cute old dog he's not right he's not here right now i'll show you later on because he's always here in the evening oh the fish yeah so we chose to stay here we didn't they're all like very expensive fancy resorts but we don't really want to stay somewhere like we want to stay in like a place like this like a local thai community simple this is what we like so i mean what's not to love the houses are on stilts in the mangroves yeah it's just beautiful proper little slice of thai life so yeah when the bike comes we're gonna head out for the day and see what we see so that's it we're off there's the guest house this is the Steed, it's actually a really nice bike, nice colour, the B, the B machine. Now the plan is just to find some nice beaches. Kokut is like a relatively, it's not as touristy as the major touristy islands. And it's supposed to have beautiful beaches, we went to one the other day, it was like crystal clear blue water, it was beautiful. So hopefully we can find some more and just show you what the island's like. Hopefully as always get some good food which as an island you wouldn't expect this vegan food but we'll see anyway and then let's just go with it the road's super nice it's picturesque easy yeah let's go so it seems like the island is pretty much mostly jungle it's actually super nice like there's not much infrastructure not much built up stuff so it's nice to drive around so we're coming across roads like this like how picturesque is this? It's all right in my books. <laughs> all right, so this is the first beach we've headed to today. This place is called Klong Hin. We've never been to any of these beaches. We're just gonna investigate ourselves but this place is so beautiful now the good thing about Kokwood is all these beaches are actually in resorts but nothing's private so even if you're not staying in a resort you can come and enjoy the beautiful beaches it's high tide so there's not much beach here but we're gonna head down I'll just show you the views though man it's so hot yeah so let's have a look so here is the resort, so this is where you can stay, but it's probably very expensive. 
And then yeah, we've got some beach down here. Wow. Loads of the classic swings that you see people taking 9 million pictures in. And yeah, these are nice. If you have the money to spare, staying in one of these would be very nice. Leash is heading in now. Yeah, look at this place. So beautiful. I don't know what this monstrosity is, this silver swing. But yeah, it's really beautiful here. I mean, you get a bike, you say you're gonna hop around beaches all day. And you come to where that is and you just wanna stay here all day. Wow. Palm trees hanging, this is I idyllic, isn't it? Nice blue water. I don't know what more you want. I'll take a quick dipper. I'm actually going to have to hide from the sun today because like an absolute idiot, just there, I forgot to put sun cream on. And I've burnt like a lobster. Let's have a look in here, eh? Oh, it's so nice. This is so beautiful. I'm super glad we came to Cockwood over the other islands because all the beaches are this busy, like all day. I look, there's hardly anyone here. Crazy, crazy beautiful. What a spot. How is it, Leash? The water is so I know you can see, you're literally crystal clear. Nice and cool as well, it's not like really warm water. Wee water, as you call it. Yeah, wee water. And like I was saying before, from here you can actually see that the island of Kokkud is mostly jungle. I think I read it's the fourth largest in all Thailand. I mean, right now we're pretty much like off the border of Cambodia. This is like the furthest east you can get, island wise. But yeah, look, it's just jungle. Few resorts. So nice. We've just pulled up somewhere new and it seems we're in like a super fancy resort. Look at these rooms. Super quiet here. Almost feels like we shouldn't be walking through the resort here. Let's see, I don't know. I'm hoping there'll be some beautiful beach down here. I don't even know what this beach is called, so when I go home and I find out, I might put it on the screen. But this looks like a luxury resort. This is like super nice. It's a spa. It's a spa. Mm -hmm. Bloody hell. Let's hope we don't get kicked out. No, I'm pretty sure we won't because I see the sea. it looks so blue, the sea. Like I said, all resorts, like no one can have private access to the beach. Which is so good, isn't it? Because it's so annoying when you go to a destination and like loads of private businesses have like gobbled up the beach. That really annoys me. Not here on Cockwood. Then people have gone down to the beach down there, so it tells me you can just walk through. Oh, wow! Hope there's nobody in this room. Because I'm about to show you somebody's room. Can you see on the balcony they've got like a Infinity pool, that's so nice. I'm not going to go and peek in because I might get booted out. I wonder how much it is a night here. I might find out. I'll let you know. About 300 pounds. 300 pounds, I reckon 100 pounds. Oh, the tide's still in. The tune's on it. Yeah, so this is really bad what I'm about to do, but I'm going to peek into this person's room and show you the life you could be living if you've got lots of money. We're not that lucky. It doesn't matter though, you can just get a bike and come to any of these beaches, so you don't even need to stay in a resort. That's the beauty of this place. They are playing annoying music here though, first thing. Like the other beaches have been super peaceful here. There's... That music's horrible. So yeah, we're on the beach. It's pretty nice. I mean, the ocean is always going to be so beautiful here. So blue. Well, at this beach, there is quite a lot of plastic shit. I mean, which is what it is. 
not the best, but you can understand it, can't you? We're going to head down to the other side of the beach and see if that's any nicer. I mean, the beach is beautiful. It's just the litter that's obviously washing up. I mean, where is it washing up from? Because it's, it's not people here throwing it in. It's washing up on the beach, so if they don't clean it, it's going to pile up. That's just a sad reality of some places, isn't it? Yeah, there's no denying this is a beautiful beach again. Here on Cockwood. I mean, what more do you want? Palm trees, jungle views, flat blue sea. It's really beautiful, but we probably won't stay here for long just because there is a lot of shit like lining the beach. Yeah, it's just not that, that nice to, to sit next to it all. So yeah, we'll head off somewhere else, but I just thought I may as well show you this anyway because it is still pretty beautiful. I'm not gonna bash it. It does smell really good. We've got a lemon shake, fresh lemons from that basket right there. And it's uh, super refreshing, so it's absolutely boiling. It's like the hottest part of the day now. It's a bit bitter as well, isn't it? Perfect, yeah, 50 baht. Not too bad, really. So before we came to the island, I was actually thinking we weren't going to be able to find much good food. I thought it would all be watered down, you know, for like the Falang Palette. But we've actually found a hidden gem. Now it's really good here. It's called the Chiang Mai restaurant. Um, the super lovely the people here. She's made it nice and spicy for us. And the portions here are absolutely massive. This is 70 baht. And it's a massive bowl of khao soi gai, chicken khao soi. Now let's just try this broth. This soup. It's absolutely. Delicious. So creamy. Now obviously the best bit about a cow soy is throwing in all the goodness. So we've got the onion, the pickled mustard greens. What else have we got? Let's get some of this in. And then a big drizzle of lime. That is massive that. And then we've got the crunchy noodles on top. We've got the huge chunks of chicken, which are like flat pieces of chicken, super delicious. Now let's get a few of these. They're like, like, what do you call these? Like toasted chilies. No. Like smoked chilies. Mm -hmm. And then let's also throw some chilli flakes in for good measure. So let's throw those in. And then let's mix it up. All those crunchy egg noodles on the top. It's hard to mix up because the portion's so big. Underneath is the cooked egg noodles. Let's mix all that chilli through. Yeah, just look at this huge bowl of cow soy guy. That is massive. It's such a big portion. So creamy. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's get a bit, bit of a mix of everything. Big chunks of chicken. There's a lot of chicken in here. These chilies there they have such like a depth of flavour to them. Oh, a bit spicy. The onion. It also is a dish where it's suited to everyone because you can make it exactly how you want it. 
I'm going to put in more fish sauce if you want it saltier, more chilli if you want it spicier, more lime if you want it a bit more zesty. You can like make it to your own taste. And these crunchy egg noodles on top add such a nice crunch to the soft egg noodles in the bottom. But that broth's a winner. It's really good here. It's like... You can really taste the coconut milk. It gets creamy and you get hit with the the chilli after. She put some like, I don't know what it was, it was like a dark chilli paste in as well on the top when we got it. That is delicious. So much flavour. Wow. What do you think this? I love it. My favourite thing though is because the broth is super creamy and coconut here. I love like the contrast when you drink the broth and then you drink these you eat these pickled mustard greens. It's like sour after having something super creamy. I love that contrast. Oh, it's got it's well all the flavours in, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Here we are backstage in the restaurant. Ah. Not, not spicy. So this is the not spicy. Ah. And any any pet pet. Yeah. Ah. So she makes all these portions. So they're all separate portions. Wow. So we had the spicy one. A couple of maca. <laughs> Perfect. It smells so good back here, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, they just give us these little bananas, <laughs> sweet bananas. How soy, how soy. How soy, I like mac. What's in it? Couldn't you like that? Couldn't you like that? Porn. 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 Beer. 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 Leo, 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 Leo. <laughs> perfect. You can be the guy who's at. Good luck. Good luck. This is well a spot you should be checking out if you're coming to Kokkut. The cow soy is so good. I can't speak for anything else on the menu, but you can see the Chiang Mai restaurant. She is actually from Chiang Mai, so she's from the north of Thailand. And yeah, what a weird place. You wouldn't think you would be eating northern Thai food. Good northern Thai food on an island. You'd think it would be like average, but no, she can make it not to the western palate, so she can make you a delicious bowl of khao soy guy. And there's so much chicken in it. Yeah, what a spot. Auntie and her are so friendly. Some of the friendliest people met on the island, to be honest. It's on the way to the Bang Bao Beach, isn't it? Yeah, literally. Bang Bao Beach is up there. That's a dog over there. So, yeah, if you come, this is where you should be going. Really sweet, these aren't you? You want to try one while we Baby bananas. Are these the ones they grill the, the, to make like yeah. the sweet desserts with? And the fried bananas. Half each. Oh, it's like gooey. That's delicious. Mm. So sweet. So nice. They just give us them on the way out. They mm. said we, you can have these present for you. So yeah, some people are super nice. Yeah, let's see where we head off now. We realised before, we've got a scooter that has no speed gauge on. And like Leach said, that just is absolute classic island life. We're going to a beach which we went to on our first day, which is probably going to be our favourite beach of Cockwood. It's so nice, you'll see in a minute. Alright, so we're here at what I think is definitely one of our favourite beaches here on Cockwood. The name of this beach is Bang Bao, Bang Bao Beach. It's really long, really beautiful, a really soft sand, crystal clear blue water. Again, just lined with palm trees. There's a few piers, which are actually really fun because you can jump off them. I'll show you this in a sec. You can jump off here, there's always fish swimming about. And yeah, it's quiet. There's just a few little resorts dotted about, jungle. Pretty much the standard for Kokkud. Everywhere is pretty similar, everywhere is beautiful, and everywhere isn't busy. I'll just show you this at the end because there's been people in this every day, but today it's free, so. Pretty cool, I'll show you now. There's like a net over the water. Oi. That you can lie in. And some babe like that over the water. 
Pretty cool, isn't it? You can see through below. <laughs> it's well like that. And then there's the jumping boards. But the tide's out, it's going out, so it's a bit it's a bit shallow now, so I actually don't know how deep it is. But there's one on the other side as well. And a slide. I can confirm this slide is not much fun, you just stick to it. But yeah, it's like a walk the plank. Pretty smart, isn't it? Yeah, probably go for a swim and chill here for the rest of the night. Watch the sunset. Oh, it's gonna go down there, isn't it? Either way, it'll be nice. Yeah. Nearly broke the bloody thing, man. Hit the bottom. Because <laughs> the tide's going out, I genuinely hit the bottom. You can nearly stand up. <laughs> Nothing but pain again. <laughs> Climbing on my back. The funniest thing ever is going on here. These people are kayaking with the dog on the kayak. You definitely can't see it on the camera, but he's he's hanging off the front and he's paddling as well. That is so funny. This beach is so beautiful. The sun's just gone down. There's hammocks over there you can sit in and swing above the sea. It's so nice here and it's so quiet. For like one of the be most beautiful beaches on the island. So nice. Yeah, very glad we came here. Cockwood is so beautiful. That is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. The dog's trying to jump out. So funny. Young Tidelock just came over and um, offered me to smoke some weed with him and fish on the end of the pier. <laughs> oh, we've met some really friendly people here today. It's been so fun. Show you a few more of these scenes. Just got back to the guest house now, and here is the doggo. He's called Samsung. Come on. He had an old dog called Noki. He's so cute. He's old. Look at him. Got such a nice little smile. And he's a ridgeback, so this bit of his hair goes the opposite of this bit. Super cool, eh? It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> Look at his teeth. He likes chin strokes. Super cute. Yeah, thank you for watching. This is the end. See you next time.